Thank you all for coming. I think you're going to really enjoy what we have for you tonight. And we're going to start with a couple of musical numbers by Deb and Angie.
Good evening, and welcome to The Star. I am Alan the Minstrel, and this is my company. A compo. My piano player. <laughs> there have been a lot of strange things happening around here, and I'm going to tell you the story in song, because, you know, I'm a minstrel, and that's what minstrels do. I sing the story of a star, a star that drew men from afar, through field and fountain, moor and mountain, following yonder star. Oh, 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 oh. oh yes, oh yes, here I am, oh yeah, hey, 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 how are you? I know they're all following me. Just wait one second and I'll get my pen for autographs. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not singing about you. I'm singing about the, the star that's in the sky lighting the way to the king of kings. What? What, what are you doing? Weren't you in the uh, Guardians of Galilee? Yes, I was. <laughs> what are you talking about? Big star in this era. Haven't you seen my latest movie, Guardians of Galilee? How dare you? You'll be hearing from my agent. <laughs> wow. Let's try that again. I sing the story of a star, a star that drew men from afar, through field and fountain, moor and mountain, following yonder star. Oh, Wait a minute, they sighted the star in the east? Indeed they did. You mean the stars in the east, or they were in the east when they saw it? You lost me. They saw the star in the east. Was the star in the east, or were they in the east? In local news, if you haven't been down to the Census Bureau in your neighborhood, you might want to get to it! This message is brought to you by Caesar Augustus and the Roman Empire, bringing your world together one land at a time. Stonehouse. And I'm Al K. Seltzer. And, and we're keeping you informed. And I return you to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> <laughs> the star we see, it leads to a king, a newborn king of whom we now sing. King forever ceasing never over us all to reign. Oh. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Herds of sheep everywhere are running amok as shepherds abandon their flocks and gather at the inn downtown. <laughs> what would drive shepherds from their flocks? Packs of wolves? A bear? Lost satellite connection? Uh, our field reporter, Juan Filippo Sanchez. <laughs> now in the field right now. Let's, uh, let's go there. Juan? Oh, we're out already? Oh, hi. Hi, I'm Juan Filippo Sanchez. <laughs> and I'm incognito here with the sheep. Let's find out what's going on. Hello there. Where are your shepherds? <laughs> really? What star? <laughs> Angels? Singing? <laughs> Baking soda? <laughs> oh, a baby! Oh, okay. Well, there you have it. It seems a very special baby has been born in Bethlehem, and that's where all the shepherds have gone. I'm Juan Filippo Sanchez. Outstanding in the field. Back to you guys. 
Thank you, Juan. <laughs> I'm Iona Stonehouse. And I'm Al K. Seltzer. And, and we're, we're keeping, keeping you informed. We now return you to our regularly scheduled program. The child we all have gathered to see has come to save both you and me. King forever ceasing, never over us all to reign. Oh. will be joining us in our studio here today. Thank you, thank you for having me, thank you. No, not you, we mean an astronomer, that kind of star expert. What, who knows about stars better than the biggest star of them all? Haven't you seen my latest movie, mm -hmm. Guardians of the Galaxy? Security? Studio, Dr. Twinkle, the noted astronomy professor from Bethlehem State University. Dr. Twinkle, what can you tell us about this star? Well, in my professional opinion, if his most recent film was a galaxy, it would be undiscovered. It was not his best performance, not by a long shot. No, we're talking about the star in the sky. In the east, we think. Oh yeah, that star. We believe it might be a red giant or possibly a small comet that passed too close to the sun. Indeed, and uh, what is the significance of this star? Well, it's very, very bright. See, I told you. <clears throat> but doctor, why is everyone following it? Hmm. Well, it seems to be some kind of rumor going around that it stopped or is hovering over a small stable <gasps> behind the Super 8 Motel on 4th Street in Bethlehem. Apparently there must be some inexplainable magnetic force causing it to stay hovering over this place. The, the sheep told us of a baby being born. Could that have something to do with this? The sheep told you? <laughs> yeah, it's best not to ask. Well, it would have to be a baby of very great importance to acquire such a wonderful magnetic force field around it. Thank you very much, Dr. Twinkle. We appreciate your time. You're welcome. I'm Iona Stonehouse. And I'm L.K. Seltzer. And we're Keeping, Keeping You Informed. And now a word from our sponsors. Are you tired of not catching any minnows? Are you tired of catching minnows instead of trout? Would you rather... Yeah. <laughs> would, would you like to throw your net on the right side of the boat? Well, try Sandy Brothers new nylon nets. Better sold separately. <laughs> Wise men seek him from afar, from the east they follow the star, through field and fountain moor and mountain following yonder star. some questions for them. What's it like riding on the back of a camel? How's the Wi-Fi signal on the trip? What does their Netflix queue look like for such a long camel trip? No, <laughs> we don't have time for those kinds of questions. We need to ask them about the star. Thank you, thank you for having me back. But I can answer my own questions. I'd like to thank these kind men who have been following my career for some time. Yes, my most recent film, Guardians of Galilee, has definitely been my best film so far. Security! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the interruption, folks. <laughs> we have these wise men coming on. We're about to interview them. So, wise 
Benjamin, um, can you tell us why you've been following this mysterious star that's <coughs> in the sky? I'm not sorry. <laughs> For so long now. Well, the star is just the birth of the King of Kings and the Lords of Lords. King of Kings and Lord of Lords? And who might that be? That's what we plan to find out. We saw the star and he's been following it ever since. <laughs> that leads me to another question. Was the star in the east, or were you in the east when you saw it? Both. Excuse us, we need to be going. Right. Uh, well, thank you for your time, gentlemen. <laughs> After a commercial break, we will return you to your regularly scheduled program. I'm Iona Stonehouse. And I'm L.K. Seltzer. And, and we're, we're keeping you informed. And now a word from our sponsors. Only two loaves of bread and five fishes? Do you need to be an army of 5,000 men tonight? We'll call the keys and run your catering service. Short on stature, but not on food. All <laughs> Now we're going to have a special music performance. Ruth McNamara is going to sing What Child Is This?
Well, it's a hard time, you know, because we can't kick out the paying customers. Paying customers? Yeah. 18, 24, and 40 have not been paid for weeks. Well, okay, it's a hard time because there's emphasis in everything going can, on. Can you guys tell me more about this baby, please? Money to be able to continue on what's going on. Here. Would you like to be in a stable line on some table having a baby I show him? Well, you know what? This isn't all of it. Well, there you have it. It seems a baby has been born in a stable summer. I'm Juan Filippo Sanchez, reporting from Heartbreak Hotel. Stonehouse. And I'm Alpha Seltzer. And we're keeping you informed. We now return you to our regularly scheduled program. Why would everyone come to a smelly stable to see a baby that has just been born? Is everyone there to see the star? Excuse me, oh. there must be some mistake. My agent, who I'm fired by the way, did not inform me we had a gig at the stable tonight. Can you kindly direct me to the stable where my fans are gathering and I can grace them with my presence? Okay, it's not... <laughs> what we mean is that there's Down two blocks, take a hard left, straight up on 8th Street, catch bus number 42. It should be there in 9 minutes. And that will take you directly to the stable. Thanks, man. <laughs> you just sent him to Nineveh. That'll keep him out of our hair for a while. <laughs> How long is he sitting there? <laughs> What's that, Susie? This just in. Our field reporter, Juan Filippo Sanchez, is incognito with the crowd at the stable right now. Juan? <laughs> <laughs> you need this stuff. Maybe you should try some ranch dressing on or something. Juan. Oh, that's right. Hi, I'm Juan Filippo Sanchez. And I'm incognito here with the animals at the stable. So a large crowd has gathered inside the stable behind the Super 8 Motel in Bethlehem, and they've pushed all the animals outside. So animals, what can you tell me about what's happening? Moo! <laughs> 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 Moo! Wow. And your cow? Moo! <laughs> wow, that's very interesting. What about you, horse? <laughs> really? And what about you? No? Nothing to say? That's all right. Well, uh, there you have it. It seems, uh, oh wait, it looks like we have some shepherds coming. Can we turn the camera this way? Well, there you are. Where have you been? How come you left your sheep all by themselves? So there really were angels. That's what your sheep said. I mean, well, I mean, you know sheep. <laughs> angels told us of a baby being born. We came to find him and worship him. Worship him? A baby? Intriguing. Excuse us, we will have to make our oh. All right, well, uh, I'm Juan Filippo Sanchez. And uh, back to you guys. Thank you, Juan. Um, I'm Iona Stonehouse. And I'm L.K. Seltzer. And we're keeping you informed. We now return you to our regularly scheduled program.
worship, here lies the King of Kings. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Angels have been sighted around a stable in downtown Bethlehem. Our field reporter, Juan Felipe Sanchez, is there now. Juan. We, we do have a field reporter down there, right? Juan. <laughs> Juan Filippo Sanchez. And I'm in Cognito here with the angels. Trying to get the inside scoop. What, uh, can, can you tell me why you, I mean, we, are here tonight? Glory to God in the highest, on earth, peace toward men on whom his favor rests. Wow, really? But why here? But you, Bethlehem, the land of Judah, are by no means the least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you, a ruler will come who shepherd my people Israel. I bring you good news of great joy. Today, in the city of David, a Savior will be born, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. Find a babe wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Lying in a manger? A ruler of the people lying in a feeding trough? So, I'm Juan Filippo Sanchez. Uh, and I don't understand any of this. Back to you again. <laughs> I'm Hyola Stonehouse. And I'm Al K. Seltzer. And we're informing <laughs> it keep, keep keeping you informed. informed. After a quick break, we will return you to our regularly scheduled program. And now Cena Anthem will be singing Hallelujah. Thank you. 
songs. Um, first one is uh, Arkansas Traveler and the second one is uh, Turkey in the Straw. It might be songs that you might, the little tunes you might uh, recognize. And then I'll play Away, Away in a Manger. <coughs> Draw nigh 
Come and worship, come and worship, worship Him, Christ the King. Oh. mysterious baby stuff is about. <laughs> Our uh, poor, confused field reporter, Juan Felipe Sanchez, <laughs> is supposed to be down at the stable right now. Um, Juan? Uh, Juan! Oh! Hi! Sorry, everyone. I'm Juan Felipe Sanchez. <laughs> And I'm here with the mother and father of the baby, Mary and Joseph. So would you please kindly tell the folks at home, what the heck is going on here? My soul magnifies the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has been mindful of the humble state of his servant. From now on, all generations will call me blessed. The mighty one has done great things for me. Holy be his name. He has done mighty things with his arm. He has scattered those who are proud in their inmost thoughts. He has helped his servant Israel, remembering to be merciful to Abraham and his descendants, even as he said to our fathers. Well, wow, um, back to you guys. Uh, and now a word from our sponsors? <laughs> Are you tired of falling asleep while counting your sheep? Did you lose too many to the wolves or your does? Well, get damn it, sling an energy drink. The only. Drink to slay your giant fatigue. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and now Thaddeus Van Note, Mackenzie DeBoer, Benjamin Van Note, and I will sing Mary Did You Know.
after that, I pray that you have a very blessed Christmas.
Security guard was played by Ben Ali. And uh, Gordy Scroll was our ukulele player that played every time we watched Nicholas Sanchez. His name was mentioned. So thank you guys for that. Thanks. I um, want to say a special thank you to Monica and uh, Lori for helping with the costumes and, and Lori helping get the kids in and out with their costumes. And also to Nathan and Josh very much for your, your technical expertise to get all this work in. Appreciate it. So have a good night, guys. Thanks for coming.